guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel my name is a uh, fellow the boy uh, if you are coming this channel for the first time please uh, i sent you to go on my youtube channel and uh, make your subscription road to 7000 subscribers thank you very much uh, uh, for those one who are uh, uh, hitting their sub subscription word so that i can be able to hit uh, 7000 just to remind you too that uh, if you are uh, watching the video you are starting the video remember to give it like and also give the video like and also uh, don't skip the ads because uh, we are being paid uh, through those ads so i'm just in kangariso and remember right now we have got uh, a project trip uh, th uh, the third project that is going on at mama uh, Mama Joyce right now that's the third project that we are having and uh, I'm just uh, at the back of uh, Mama Mama Fred's uh, house and if you see very well she has got uh, uh, she's not around so I've not entered inside uh, in the compound but I can see she decided to plant here some uh, these one are onions these one are onions for mama fred so guys today i want to try to uh, reach there on the mountain i uh, we have got uh, the subscribers uh, who have been uh, uh, who have been sub subscribing and uh, they are just uh, they are new they had not seen uh, that place because we used to go there actually we used to go there when we were constructing at mama fred but right now we have been concentrating at uh, mama maria because Mama Maria place is just here. You see that those houses? I can see Mama Maria children they are uh, on, sh on, the, on the shamber. They are... Uh, uh, okay, me I can see, but you guys, you know, the GoPro cannot be able to magnify it. Huh? Then uh, Mama Fred's home is here. Uh, Mama Joyce uh, is here. Mama Joyce is here. Mama, Mama, Mama Maria there. So that is it. So I'm just heading here. People have already prepared their lands uh, to start uh, uh, planting the next season. In fact, the owner of this land has prepared it very early even before harvesting. You see, they have just uh, cut the maize and uh, uh, hipped it together so that they can uh, be able to come and harvest. But uh, before that, they have used, they have decided just to prepare first uh, before they uh, continue with harvesting so guys i'm heading i'm heading to kangariso stone a stone on top of a stone just be with me all of these places is just stones i had promised that uh, i will be able to bring you here once i move here i will go at mama uh, mama joyce to go and uh, uh, look how the work is going on so you can see mama fred's house is that one and mama maria is the other side Okay, can check Kangariso. Actually, I love Kangariso how it looks like. Kangariso is fertile. Look at the soil. The soil is very, very, very fertile. And that's why uh, it's a black, it's black one. It's very fertile. It has got a lot of uh, nutrients. Yeah. So we have got uh, that. Kosalama. Nakata ndezi. Oh. Oh, is a as it is the new as it is shining. I was not talking as in your sasa than as your toa. Okay, so he's cutting the the bananas, banana branches, and the leaves so that he can just give it to the he can take to the cow. Yeah, you don't get you don't get in Zuri called black in a funny of Zuruka Chakula. Now, I'm coming in a car coming in a car coming Yeah, so guys, I'm telling him that uh, their soil is very, very fertile. Very, this is a very place for farm, a very good place for farming. Very good place for farming because, uh, look, guys, you know, you can just detect the soil. Yes. And that's why there's one thing I've come to realize that uh, those people who stay on the uh, those people who stay on the island 
they harvest a lot of food because uh, uh, on the island, on the island we have got uh, a lot of uh, uh, fertility. We have got a fertile soil on the island's part. So, like an example, we have a place uh, in Migori, uh, whereby most of the people they they plant there, they plant there their crops. But you find that uh, those crops or plants they have uh, did it well even without fertilizer. So when they harvest, what they do, they just uh, they harvest, then they they burn, they burn those uh, branches that. Uh, uh, they have harvested like this one like in this case you find that uh, when you have already harvested you burn them when you burn them so that one can be able to be used as a uh, they can be used as a fertilizer yeah when i come to this place i remember otenga otenga used to come to this place to sit here to upload the video because you know uh, that place down part you didn't have the uh, guys look at that animal on the stone yeah, it is going. You know, this this place is somehow limited mysteriously. You can meet a lot of you meet a lot of things here. You really meet a lot of things. So that's a kangaroo stone. So today I've just came with today I've just came near. So that you can be able to see it very well. And this place, guys, we normally have a lot of snakes. When when we were here last time, we used to meet a lot of snakes. But uh, the advantage with this, the snakes that normally be here, they don't concentrate with anybody. Unless we have, uh, we want to kill it, or we want to hit it, yeah, is when you will be, uh, you'll start a war with them. But without that, they can't do you anything. You just walk and you pass with them. Yeah. So we used to walk. Actually, we used to walk this part. So I can just show you. Yeah. So you see when there is the reason why I'm telling you that uh, uh, this place is so fertile, you can check on the look at that. It is going. And you know, yesterday I saw some monkeys here on top of that stone. Some monkeys playing there. Yeah. So look at this place. So we have got, uh, there is a guy who is staying there. There is a guy who has got a house. I don't know if you will be able to see it very well. Look at this place. Hidden place. You can come and hide here. For example, if you have got something like war, you come and uh, hide in those caves. Yeah. So there is uh, uh, some places like that one. There is a place where by the last time we went, we have got uh, a cave there. Yeah, there is a cave whereby you can enter and relax. So I was telling you that uh, there is somebody who has got uh, a house near here. I don't know if you can be able to see it. Huh? Yeah, there is a house. Here. Okay, I will, I will take you there, go and see. So I was trying to imagine, what about if this stone comes? But although, okay, although this is God's work, this stone cannot... Uh, uh, because uh, uh, the history has been uh, hard and people have been saying that this stone was here for so many years people are being born they found these stones are here so I was trying to imagine what about if these stones decided to fall and you know we have got the the guy called Muita he's just staying near here I don't know if you have been watching the video there is a day I visited him uh, one of the guy called Marcos uh, sent me some money to buy for him uh, to buy for him a uh, jembe and also a sped so he's just staying here there okay guys okay i don't uh, i will not go uh, far there uh, because uh that place unless you have got someone uh, to take you around i'll tell you that this place is mysterious you will meet a lot of things we have seen already we have met something here i don't know its name look at this fa the fertility fertility the fertility of this soil is what i love You see, I've already started sneezing. I've smelled a rat. <laughs> when I was in primary, we used to write compositions, and uh, we had what we call uh, this thing that we call vocabularies. So the vocabularies, the teacher used to tell us that uh, um, 
uh, we have got some words that when you use in composition uh, somebody who's marking for your composition a marker will just read on those words and uh, realize that ah, this guy is professional this guy is illiterate so we have got uh, the word like helter skelter the word like uh, tremendously we have got the word like majestically we have got the word like uh, 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 frightened uh, we have got uh, the word like uh, astonished you know like me i was actually i was i loved english uh, writing you know sometimes what i've come to realize you can know english uh, from understanding the question and answering and uh, there is also a way whereby you can just know english by speaking i don't know if you agree with me that you can just know english by speaking you see So me, uh, I didn't. I was not uh, good in speaking English in high school, but when it comes to uh, exam, for example, there is a, 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 a. For example, if a question has been asked in English in exam, you find that uh, it was somehow very easy to uh, put an answer because somehow, you know, guys, you can just understand something without speaking. It's like when you read store books. When you read store books, you just understand the store book. But uh, uh, now, if somebody come and tells you, uh, for example, that uh, narrate for me what you read, narrate for me what you read, oh, no, you will explain for him, but uh, not in a good language. But uh, you have got the idea about what you read what you read that's uh that is what i'm trying to uh, to tell you guys so we i used to love set books i used to love because in form three in form three we had a paper three paper three they were setting something like an essay so an essay for you to answer an essay you have to be uh, read all the set books we have got also the exacts the exacts also in the exam they test you for an exact then you have to fill it according to how you understood the story, the story that you had read. The same, same to Kiswahili, we have got a place whereby we have got uh, what we call Dondo. So Dondo, they just uh, pick any uh, line uh, from the storybook that you read. And uh, you will know, you, you don't know, you will not know where, which line are they going to pick. Anywhere, they just pick. When they pick, they ask you that... Uh, who spoke this word and uh, uh, where was he while he was speaking so we have got the sun that was brought from I'm afraid plastering uh, but uh, we had a problem of accessibility so the dumbo has not been able to the dumbo was not able to pass here yeah so maybe I can be able to show you the problem that we are having here is that uh, the damper could not be able to pass because we wanted uh, I wanted one damper of sand eh? I had uh, ordered one damper of sand so we, we thought that maybe uh, this damper could pass and uh, uh, pour this uh, uh, sand at least where we have got almost the, mot the motorcycle but uh, it was difficult so we had to just to put it here for just fun because i think by tomorrow they will start working so tomorrow they will start working uh, on that so that uh, you find that uh, we have already uh, we want to try our best to remove it here and also the advantage is that this month we don't have a lot of rain so if we could be having rain is when we could have worried because sometimes you find that if we have got water the water uh, drain with the sand but uh, we are going to work on that. So I will be going there. Uh, I'm going at Mama Joyce. And we have got uh, the cement. So this work that is going on at Mama Joyce right now, it is a, uh, this is don donation from Soja Boy. Soja Boy, for those people who don't know, Soja Boy is one of the subscriber from, uh, from the world. From the world. And uh, he has been participating a lot uh, in a project uh, that uh, we have been doing in Nyabohansi. 
and Kengariso and elsewhere worldwide. So he's the one who donated money for the. Uh, remember the first time that house was not, was only having iron sheets, but it was not having the. It had not. They had not molded it. So what he did, he came and uh, sent me money. I looked for Mama Fred. Mama Fred. I gave her Mama, Mama Fred some uh, that this money, so that she can be able to look for the uh, timbers and uh, mold that house. And right now, I thank God that uh, they have mold. We have gone to another step of plastering it now. So this one is plastering. This one is the sand. And uh, I had to buy. So I have got uh, two receipts here for the cement. So one receipt here is 10 bucks of cement. This one is for this one is 16th one 2024 this today. Uh, 10 bucks of cement. This one was from Mabason Hardware. Village Grandma is the one who wrote for me this receipt. So this one this 10 bucks 10 bucks will come here. Uh, another 10 bucks. 16th you can you know the different is this one this receipt is 358 and this one is uh, 359 so you can see the difference so one receipt uh, is for mama Joyce you see there are two of them so I'm going to keep it very well uh, on my file I have got a file whereby I store my receipts right now there are a lot of them. Actually, in my house, I have got uh, over 100 receipts. Over 100 receipts. So, uh, those receipts that I have, uh, that I'm telling is over 100. Remember, we have got uh, the receipts that uh, uh, we, were, uh, we were being given on the, during the time when I was at Mama Ann. And also, when I was uh, sponsoring the children and whatever, we have got uh, some of the receipts that uh, it, uh, it was uh, kept. So I find them. I found I find these receipts. They are there. So we have got uh, this one that uh, I'm getting it right now. I will be able to go and uh, uh, store it now. Again on that one that I have. Okay, so this one uh, was there is a donation from emma again actually guys i don't know what i can say but uh emma uh, sincerely speaking emma she has donated a lot of money in this project of mama joyce in fact she's the one who gave me she's the one also who, who has sent uh, uh 15 000 shillings and when she sent me that 15 000 she said that uh, uh, that one is for the toilet so first, you remember, Emma, she, she, uh, first time she sent, uh, it was for 5,000 shillings for the toilet. Huh? Not for the toilet, for 5,000 shillings for the materials. Huh? Then she came again and sent 30,000 shillings for the uh, uniform, books, and everything for the children. That was now 45. That's seven five thousand. So she has come and uh, sent again uh, fifteen thousand shillings uh, for this work. Uh, so that is around. Let us say that she has sent to this family. She has uh, supported it uh, around a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand Kenyan shillings. So she sent again this money. So this money, I have already paid for the cement that I have shown you the receipt. So we are going to uh, the guy who will bring that cement, the tuk tuk. Uh, it will carry all the cement they put here 10 bucks uh, and uh, they go and uh, also deliver 10 bucks for mama fred for plastering that house so this one there is one that i'll send to soldier boy another one i will send to emma so the harvesting time mama joyce salam nikuvuna kuchimba oh kuchimba imeni zimekuwa mzuri hii nachukanga muda gani kuwa Mwaka. Mm. Guys, we have got cassavas here. This one, they take a, they take a year to grow. But uh, the advantage is that uh, when you prepare them, you sell. As if you come out, you can get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of 
Simba haina faida sana. Ah, mimi naishi nimefuka, nimeshuka bei. Oh. So mahindi ikishuka pia inashuka. Ah, hii inakuwa juu. Sasa hii mahindi iko chini. Mahindi sasa hivi gorogoro ni ngapi? 60 Oh. Guys, right now 2 kg of maize is uh, 60 or to 70. And this one is uh, 80 shillings. 2 kg. But uh, it takes a lot of time. The duration is uh, it takes a lot of time like one year she has said that it takes one year so she has harvested this place i told you that this place we have got uh, uh this lands they do very well on crops but nyabwanzi, nyabwanzi is just for planting nyabwanzi is for planting crops so that's why you will send yeah uh, that's why you will find that uh, kangariso is the best for planting hey mwita repe nimetoka kwako bana kutembea huko kwako Hey. Yeah. So they are trying to we have got another cassava here. But this one is still growing. They are still growing. So she has already prepared this lunch whereby she's supposed to she's supposed to start uh, planting when the rains comes. Now what they normally do they just uh, prepare they just prepare it. And when they have prepared you find that uh, when the rains comes, they start uh, planting. So it seems like maybe this place, she's going to plant maybe maize. Huh? Yeah, she'll be planting maize. It seems so. So the construction of the toilet is just going on. Uh, I've just come to, this is another day. I've just, I've come to check on the work, how the work is going on. I think the 10 bags of cement that we are going to add is going to uh, push the work it's going to push the work to construct that toilet uh, to be finished uh, till maybe is when uh, till maybe we get another money if we get another donation it will be now for roofing so if you are uh, watching this video please donate for us so that we can be able to get uh, the roofing hey toto mambo kosalama she's okay she's just here playing so this one is the cassava that uh, uh, she has harvested. Yeah, she has harvested this cassava. There are a lot of them. So they they okay they they will, they are going to uh, remove the its cover, then they dry it now. That's what is going to that's what they are going to uh, to do. So this one is a uh, somebody was telling me to check on the houses of these uh, children where they sleep you see there is a cow that uh, was here so this one is a place whereby they they used to cook huh? they used here to cook we have got some three stones so in in uh, in africa guys this is the method that we normally use actually i used to do it i used to love this one once you put here firewood you light the fire you start cooking the two stones they serve both sufurias. So it doesn't matter which kind of sufria you are using. Sometimes you find that every sufria is there, just entering there. But look on the the posts. The posts have, uh, have rot. The posts they have rot. So this one is the house that uh, the children are sleeping in. Guys, I'm doing this because somebody told me that uh, fellow, please go and uh, enter in that house. So that uh, uh, we as subscribers, we can be able to see the how they are sleeping. And uh, we can now start donating for the house now. Yeah, this one is the house. I don't know if the girl wants to cook. And the way she's very young. Or oh, she's, ch she's checking whether we have got food there. Yeah, okay, village life. So this one is the the kitchen. So this one is the kitchen, this one is the house of cows, this one is the house of the the children also. They sleep here. So today is now the first day I'm entering here in this house. So you can check on the sleeping arrangement. That's rugs, 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 rugs. Okay, sometimes you know, I fail to understand. Huh? Uh, I fail to understand. I normally say that... Uh, uh, it could be good if the government could be at least visiting the families 
Every family is in the wards, they sleep. They... Nana, nana, langa apa? Eliza. Nani? Eliza. Eliza? Oh, nana, 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 She's saying that Eliza, they sleep here with Joyce. So, that's why, guys, I was, okay, I was telling you that, eh? Uh, if the government could be at least be visiting families like this one, uh, in every ward they check how they they survive and they stay. They just donate even for even a mattress, even a bed. It could be something that uh, could be very at least uh, uh, good because the family could have been saved. Eh? So that's why I was telling you that so, uh, Emma was talking about if we can be able to get them new mattresses. But look, the house. The the cow sleeps here. You know the problem is that, uh, okay, someone was asking me if the why is it that the cows are not sleeping outside, guys. The problem with here, Korea community, um, you cannot sleep. Your cows are supposed to sleep with you, because we have got a lot of raiding. They raid here. They raid a lot. Actually, you will you you you'll be astonished that uh, to wake up in the morning you find that your cow is not there. Because they have got some herbs that they come and pour in your compound, you oversleep, then they take your cow. But it, sometimes it looks good when you are, uh, uh, it is somehow, that cow is secure, like uh, putting it into your house so that it cannot be stolen. That's why somebody was asking me if, why is it that they are sleeping with cows in one house? So that is it. So this is where they are sleeping. And this is now, the, this is now where the, the cow is sleeping to. So if you put your new mattress, that mattress is going to be like uh, like uh, maybe we are just uh, be misusing it. Huh? So we have got a bed here, but this bed is not in good condition. We don't know even if we have got bed bags there. In fact, there's a boy who told me that we have got a... Uh, we call it kunguni in Kiswahili. Some bed bags. They normally bite them. Yeah, so the girl, she's here. You know, she's very... This, gu this girl... She's the one who uh, was having a problem and uh, uh, there is a day I saved her when she was passing through that problem whereby she was suffering from the head. So she's now okay. So the work is going on here. We have got Simon. Simon is the one, is the handman. We have got Simon. Simon? Yes. Buddy. How are you? I'm fine. Mm, how is the work? Work is fantastic here. Yeah. You are going very well. Yes. We'll finish today. Today? Mm. <laughs> you are just on the work. So you are, you are still know. on the work. Yes. It's God who but knows. Yeah. Eh? Uh, yes. God is the one who knows, guys. I like your response. Yes, thank you. Because uh, you can't say you will finish or not, but yes. God knows whether you will finish or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's good. That's good. I thought I thought you have learned even you, have, you, 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 you could be all, right now a mason because we have been working with you for so many months. I'm on the process. Yeah, yeah. You have to buy your tools. And start also learning. Unakuja na viyombo watu unangati kifundishi. Yeah. Dogo mdogo 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 fundi mkubwa bani. Hmm. Yes guys, so this is now the work. We have got Godfrey. Godfrey? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, the work is good? Yes. I always, you have already did uh, what we call setting now. Yeah. So this one is uh, one toilet. Yeah. This one is another toilet. Yeah. Then this one is uh, washrooms. Yes. Guys, the reason why uh, I was telling you that uh, we normally get difficult time when we live a very small hall. But now we are going to have those basins. They have to love a very at least uh, wide. And uh, we have got a space here whereby she, uh, he will be putting the pipe. We have got uh, uh, this pipe that uh, we are going to use. This one, this one will be able to serve as an outlet of the smell. So the smell will be going uh, up using the that pipe. So today is the setting day. They are setting the house and uh, we are very happy about everything that is going on so that uh, we can be able to uh, complete. So Godfrey, yes. if we add 10 bucks, it will finish now the toilet. Yes. So okay, because we are, we are buying 10 bucks today. I've already paid for them. They're supposed to come today. Yes. Yeah, so this, this, this work, you are going to construct it for how many days? Three days. Yeah. So today is the first day, tomorrow, yeah. and the day after tomorrow you will finish. Yes. Okay, that is that is it guys. So, uh, this is day one. 
day two, then day three, he will have finished up to the uh, the place whereby we are supposed to do the roofing. So when we reach there, maybe we are going to stop it a bit, maybe uh, until we get now uh, another donation for uh, for the iron sheets and the timbers and the labor, uh, so that we can be able to continue. You ni nimra, are you ni? Kosawa, slab. Kweka uzito ya. Oh. Okay, so that is it guys. So thank you very much for uh, Emma if you are watching this video Emma you are uh, uh, You are uh, the one who donated for uh, the toilet that is going on right now and uh, all the work that uh, uh, we are doing here And also those one who are watching this video. Thank you very much for the donation that you have been donating also to other homes and uh, God bless you a lot God bless you and so that you cannot lack again. Thank you very much guys. So from here, uh, actually I will be going back to, uh, I'm going back to Nyabohanzi to organize for a tuk-tuk uh, to bring those cements. But um, I have to confirm first with Mama Fred whether she will be around because we need to, those cements should be kept here 10 bucks, then 10 bucks. I can't put them here, all of them, because uh, the space in this house even is not, there's no space there. So that is it. So today I will not go to Mama Maria place unless because there is nothing that is going on there. Uh, I let me give her time a bit to enjoy now the house. But uh, if somebody sent me there that oh fellow go and do this and this, I'll just go. And also I will be uh, visiting her to see how she's going on. So thank you very much guys from this moment. Actually I want to be heading to Nyabuansi to go and organize for how the cements are. Uh, are going to to be transported here because uh, uh, we need them actually we need them by tomorrow because the, the one that had remained uh, is going to be finished today yeah. guys we are here at mama mama fred it is the following day now uh, the work is going on it has rained a lot it rained a lot and uh, yesterday, remember this sand was here. This sand was here, but uh, we had to put emergency boys. Upper, upper, upper water pitamus. Look at my boat motorbike. It has gone deep, 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 deep. Look at my tire. I cannot be able to pass here. Upper, I brought a good and a wheelbarrow. Munchukwan a wheelbarrow. That's how you are this wheelbarrow. So guys, this is the situation. Uh, my motorbike has uh, gone deep. The tire, you know, I came with the uh, another wheelbarrow and uh, 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 some spades because it had inadequate. We have got two masons there, so this wheelbarrow will have to help us to carry uh, these uh, uh, cement. So I can't be able to go. I have to, maybe I will have to go back to return back this way. Baby, is this a Zangapi opponent? The Quans? Or the Pila Commissa Tatano? So, I see Piki Piango Tatoka Shim to Ekan in Kawilber left. In a Jim Guamum, in the Kujana Wilber and a pit and Nafikriapa Koju, Kumbe. You could talk in a leaf. At near Lapun. Nasa, kwa mama nani? Wewe mrimi? Yeah. Kwa mama Joyce ulipeleka Hapo nilipeleka kuni. Kumi? Mm. Nikuvute nyuma. Ama nivu karia niku... lakini sasa itanichafua. Kweli haitani. Eh? Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, Deno. Oh. Yeah, so guys, we are here. And uh, uh, my motorbike has just been moved here. You can just see. Experience. Experience, guys. Huh? Oh, kangaroo. So kangaroo. So actually, when it trains, because they were constructing this road, uh, you can't pass here. You got, hey, you got it a bit up. Mm. So there is a vehicle coming. So I need to, you see, even my. Oh, I eat a bit. You look at my motorbike, guys. It was uh, full of muddy. But we have got the work that is going on there at uh, Mama Fred. Yeah? So. Njia? Eh, Sio chin sana. Eh, yeah, hapo kisha mbali. Lakini sasa hapa inaweza telezi kaenda huko. Hapa ni kuangalia tu siende kwa mtaro huko chini. Habani eh ubane kwa udongo, ubane kuja kuja huko kwa udongo. Jugari yenyewe iko juu kwa sawa. Sasa Ona a a nani mrimi Sidani kama ataenda kwa sababu naona hii tayari nyumi imeanza nini kuteleza Ama abane abane kabisa itabidi abane kabisa hivi A a Pana 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 Ona Juli Tabidi The road is very bad. You can see we have been helping that guy. That is a, a brother. That's, that's a brother to MP. That, that is a brother of our uh, current, uh, current MP. Eh? So the vehicle had got a problem. It was sliding. So the place now is congested. Eh? Uh, we had to at least uh, uh, push him. So the, 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 the guys who have been helping him, they have gone to at least to be given something like a soda. Mama Maria, hey, now morning. I, morning to you. Hey. You are good. Eh? Hey. So you are using also this road and the way it is muddy. Hey. 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 So we are just here. Even as you know, we have, we have been stuck here with some these bags of cement. Hey. I, want, I want to just... Yeah, here yeah, they'll just take it out. I had to bring another wheelbarrow and some hey. spades. I've heard Mama Fred she has gone to prepare, yeah, okay, to prepare mm -hmm. the birth certificate. You know, yesterday, yesterday she was there, but uh, the, the, we didn't have electricity. Mm -hmm. But right now we have got electricity, so she has gone there. So I want just to check on the work. Guys, they want just to start plastering today. Mama Maresh is here. Have you received any call from the school? Maresh is okay? Is he okay? Uh, but he is still... two uniform, they are the pair. Oh, that's uh, the, the skirts, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is it, guys. Yes. Here in the city, they call how much? The city, yeah? Yeah, yeah, sure. School fees? Hey. 42,000. You to live on my Zima? 42,000, that's um two terms, huh? Sina fai kwa 62. But everything is okay at your home? Okay, you have not. Umeboma? Yeah, I That's why you have to go to work Yeah, so that is it. That's what's going on, guys. Here, we need, we need to, we need to check uh, on the plastering that uh, was going on here. Uh, so the boys are uh, playing. 
these are where there they are they will be plastering they are plastering the house today uh, for mama fred uh, this was donation from uh, uh, cj uh, this was the i'm sorry donation from soja boy so they want to start plastering it inside and uh when they come they finish inside they will start outside oh muddy muddy man there's a muddy everywhere i don't know but uh there's no problem i shall just tolerate so i had, I had to add them another wheelbarrow one wheelbarrow and uh this one is another wheelbarrow so we have got uh they have already prepared the sand we call it the motor the sand the motor <laughs> They've already prepared the mortar, ready to start uh, plastering. They are going to plaster it from uh, from down. Remember, this this house was uh, up, so they had to dig it a bit uh, because uh, because of the height. So right now they are they're gonna plaster. It. They are going to plaster it all of it uh, so that tomorrow they can also come. So my my calculation went somehow wrong. Soldier boy, I will just communicate it to you because this house. Uh, two masons are going to work here for two days. For two days, huh? two masons are going to work here for two days. That's today and tomorrow. So that is that will be four thousand on the side of masons. Then uh, the handman one thousand, one thousand. That will be six thousand. So I'm sorry I told you that uh, uh, it will be four thousand five hundred because um, I didn't knew that uh, uh, it will be levelized the way they have did it to plaster from down. So I will just communicating to, uh, com communicate to you in how we are, on how we are going to do it. I know you are going to understand me. So I have got also, I'm supposed also to buy another padlock here, the two padlocks that uh, Mama Fred, Mama Maria, Mama Fred, she will be using that padlock to, uh, to lock here. We'll be using that padlock to lock here and also at this place. Huh? We have also a uh, soldier boy. We have also the sun that uh, they migrated from the road uh, coming to this place so that it cannot be destroyed. But the, I paid the boys also 1000. So I'll just put the sums together and know uh, how much uh, uh, you are going to add me because uh, we had to save this sand. You have to you look, look here. You see here this place. Uh, this place we have got a uh, water. So this water, try to imagine, it could have gone with all of this sand. But yesterday we had, I had, uh, we actually we were rained on. We it was raining while we were saving this sand. Huh? Is when now even Jose came when we were still tr struggling with it, and uh, I, he went when he, Jose went, the rain started. So we had to try our best and to make sure that we are saving. So guys, that is it. I'm going to Mama Joyce now. The guys have gone with uh, brother MP. That guy is uh, MP's brother. You know, he, he said that, oh, okay. I need boys who will at least help me. You see this place, this vehicle could have gone down, man. gone down on the trench, in the trench, I mean. So I'm just now going to Mama Joyce. So the cement was brought, the first one, they brought the first one, 10, five. They have brought another five there. The one that they have already mixed mortar. So they are going on with... Uh, they, they, they are supposed also to bring 10 at Mama Joyce. Yeah. So I'm just heading there. I'm heading at Mama Joyce now. Uh, to go and uh, check on the work. So these guys, they are supposed to come back to work now. Okay, MP's brother. <laughs> you see, sometimes guys they normally say, respect people, respect people. Those people who have got money, <laughs> you know, it is good. You know, like you know, this this MP's brother, they are very nice. Huh? When they meet people, at least they give them something. They give them something like a, a hundred shillings, like two hundred. Even MP himself, he normally do that because they know very well the problem like this can get them. And you see. What, what about if they could not be talking to people very well? What about they could not be able to uh, to be able to uh, to be helped the way he has been helped? So that is it. So I'm here at Mama Joyce. Today it was raining and they delayed to start the work. That is what is there. It was raining up to 
It rained up to. Ora, don't mind. Salam. Salam, Azan. Eh, mwele wasumbwa kile. Kilikuwa ninja subui. Oh. Don't move, kuje. Pache ina shida mtasa. Kumre jo kujenga. Kujenga ni kitu naenda faster. Mafungulia speed. Tasa kesho kesho ndo taifikisha. Yeah guys, so we have got uh, this space. This space is for this one is a toilet, and this one also is a toilet, and that one is a washroom. So we have got um, a space here where we are going to put uh, a pipe, a pipe for exhausting pipe that uh, will be fixed here. So that is it going to be here. So today it is muddy until Simon here has decided to remove the shoes. Eh? Yes. Yeah, this, the shoes were sliding. Yes. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Those guys they have been helping the vehicle to go. I don't know if they have been given something. I want to go to ask them whether they have been given something because that is that is MP's brother. Yeah, MP's brother. Maybe that should. Is jo Jose. Jose. Yeah. Oh, it's Jose. Yes. I was calling him Julius. No. Julius is the one who died. Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, guys, so that is it. How many cements have they brought here? Yes. Ten of them. Yes. No, okay. Yeah, guys. So that is what's going on here. And uh, they've already prepared the motor, ready to start the work. Yeah, so we are starting. The, the work has already started. We are sorry for the weather. Sometimes we can't, we can't complain. We can't complain other things. We just understand. You know, something like weather, you cannot speak to weather. You tell the weather that, oh, you start complaining. Oh, if it could have not rained, the motion could have worked this and this. No. I have already, uh, I know what they are doing. That it is very right. At Nyamwini, Zach had to stop them because... Uh, you know, walking from Nyabuanzi to Nyamwini, it could be somehow a distance. Yeah, it could be somehow a distance. So, uh, Zach had to tell them that uh, you will have to hold maybe up to tomorrow. Before they, because they could have walked for almost uh, <laughs> two hours walking or one hour. Yeah. So, that is it, guys. That's just a, a continuation video. I just to remind you that uh, Emma, thank you very much. And today, for those one who are watching this video, uh, I had already spoke in the last video that uh, we had lost uh, uh, one of the beloved uh, viewer called CJ Williams. Whatever you are watching this video from, rest in peace, CJ Williams' sister. I'm sorry, she's not CJ Williams' who died, it's CJ Williams' sister. So we had to bring also, I had to borrow the drums, guys. You know, we don't have the drums. So, we, due to, because we didn't have enough money, we didn't have enough money for uh, buying the drums. I had just to borrow from someone whom will be paying. We'll be paying him uh, some cash so that we can be able to use it. But the wheelbarrows, we have it. Remember we had the drums at Mama Maria? Uh, there were two of them. So the one is at Mama Fred. Mama Fred also, they are working there. One is here. This one. So the bigger one we had to borrow. Another one is at Mama Maria. So that is it. So I'm just going back to there. Uh, I need to tell those guys to make sure that today the work has been uh, finished. So we have agreed with this guy that tomorrow the toilet will be done because it was to be constructed for three days. Three days constructing bricks. So tomorrow when he come, he will have to uh, finish. So I'm just going at Mama Guys, can you imagine how I'm, I'm managing this project? In fact, I feel very happy. Somebody can ask me, fellow the boy, how do you feel managing all that project? I feel very happy because the project are just near. Here, here, and here. When I, <laughs> you see, at Mama Maria is there. At Mama Joyce is here. At Mama Fred is here. At, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, energy, energy, energy. Fellow is very happy. And he has not taken breakfast. The problem is mad. Oh, some, something that told me to, to wear shoes. What about if I could be having my open shoes? A lot of mud. So let me go. Those guys should make sure that that war, war house will be finished today. Actually, that is it. I have to tell them. The road is very bad. Even me, I don't know if I will go with my motorbike. So let it just be there. Okay. So Murimi, Babakaro. You know, let me hope you have helped that guy and he has given you something. 
Asiku amewapatia tu hewa maneno. Kwa hewa. Hewa. Ambia kura inakuja. Mtampigia kura tena. Ah, ni ndugu yake. Eh, sasa si mtapigia ndugu yake. Guys, I'm telling him that uh, next time the brother will need vote. So I'm asking him whether they have been given something. I don't want to go deep in that. I think Penyoneka is also meeting where in Yesha Mama Jeffy. Mike? Yes. Oh, I'm talking to someone. Is it Asian Dine? I see back Kesho Ninja. Weather and the Makuan by like in a twist to Kalaumo weather. Here in Mambo Moon. Is in a baraka. So, guys, today they are plastering inside. Tomorrow they plaster outside. You know, this one doesn't have a lot of work. Here in a Kaziming Sana, it is Jim and Alay Nisha Sana. In the Yumba Sim, Smoji and Ezra Pigo Mateki can go to Chino Kajanga Motopad. Hey, yeah, yes. Kolewa ni mwangeza zikuwa doktosha sasa, zikuwa tatu sasa. Okay. Mwaleta, nguja na mbili na wilbaro moja. Yeah. Mm. So, so wilbaro siku mbili. Wilbaro sasa ni mwangeza ingini. Ah, yeah. Dumutenda raka. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we are storing the, the cement here. We are storing the cement here. Wait, na, mura. Yeah. Wah, mwenda mchaze mbali, mtoko kwa kazi. Eh, you play far from the work, you don't get injured, huh? Yeah, they are looking at me. They don't know. No, they can be getting injured, guys. So we are just storing here. This is forage or tea? Uji. Uji. We are a juke pick uji. And I pick uji and get ngachi even kabisu korobi. Okay, guys. So thank you very much. I'm going back to Nyabohansi. I am ending this video. Uh, just prepare to the next video. I will come and show you how the work has gone on. And uh, uh, also, I will have to uh, visit the Mama Joyce again to see how the work is going on. So as I end this video, rest in peace, uh, CJ Williams' sister, whatever, everybody is watching this video. So the cement are being transported from here because of the road. The road is very bad. Thank you very much. I'm ending the video. Bye-bye. Let us meet in the next video.